Let's put it like right here so it fits underneath that window. It was rather cold last night and we were hanging out in my new rooftop tent. It was a lot of fun actually. Uh, it got down to about 43 in the tent so it was kind of chilly but it was warm. I was in a 20 degree bag and it was great. Uh, so you can see it right where right in back there. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's now 11:30, and we're about to take off for the Burrow Schmidt Tunnel, which is a pretty cool spot. I believe this is the large one. I, I'm not sure. I know there's some smaller tunnels out there that you can walk into, but there are some bigger ones that you can drive into. So I'm gonna be excited to see which one we end up at. Are we going to the big tunnel? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So big. Can I drive in it? mobbing around down the trail for quite a while it's super washboardy out here and a few big whoops so you got to be careful a lot of times when you're hitting a little valley or a little goalie there's a lot of big whoops there at the bottom probably from people just wanting to accelerate up the hill and so it's makes it a little tough but not very difficult um the new tacoma is doing awesome out here i am super happy i brought it this is the perfect area for it the um like bobcat would have been so rattly so nasty uh, it would not have been fun. So we're uh, cruising along. We've probably done a few miles down the road now, and we stopped because um, Jason in the red LJ, right there, he is uh, has a gas can in the back for the side-by-side, -side and it's leaking some gas. So we're just moving that around and cleaning it up and uh, going to continue on, having a good time so far. So we've been bombing down Ryansburg Road here, and uh, this is where we're going to be turning off. Look at this view out this way. It's so gorgeous. All the colors, the yellows, the reds, the grays, and the contrast of the sky. It's awesome. So this is where we're turning off. You could continue down this direction, but actually Ransburg turns that way. So we're going to split through that gate and go down. What do you think, Kai? Good idea? Sure. You want to go that way? Okay. All right, let's do it. You're going to walk it? I kind of want to take the rock sliders off my truck. Uh, I'll just hold hard. Easy. You have a locker, right? Yeah, I got a locker. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about hitting hitting things down in the... I should have brought my RC car. Why didn't you? you could ride with me. Nah, it'll make it. Just a little, a little concerned. I'll just come and high up this way and high over there and hold that side and figure it out as we go down.
coming down in the wash right now. Just turned on GoPro. So we drove about a mile down that road, which for my stock Tacoma was actually quite tough. Uh, I was bottoming out. Oh, I almost slipped. I was bottoming out a few spots and I uh, tagged a few rocks on my rock sliders, but uh, was able to make it down and uh, got down to that cool little cave right there. But it looks like it was just a storage room. So we're going to go hunting for some more. What do you I, think? I think it was like um, where they stored the bodies because it looks like there was hands. There's like a hand, it looks like, and then it looks like blood writing. It, it's all it says, red. Ghost town out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, we finally made it to Burrow Schmidt Tunnel. Uh, it's about a half or a quarter mile uh, a length and it's super dark in there, so I got my headlamp on. And uh, getting here was pretty easy once we got through the wash area. Um, we were bombing through that, that was a lot of fun. Um, we did have that one hill to climb and I did ding my rock slider pretty good on a rock, which actually was more me carelessly driving than um, not having a problem. You know, it definitely has made it. I bottomed out a few times. Um, but it's doing really good. So I'm super happy with it. I put in four low and I had to use that e-locker to climb that hill, but everything went great. I mean, we went up it pretty smooth. Um, yeah, so we're going to go dive into this tunnel and see how it goes. I hear it's, uh, kind of far and deep and long and wide and actually not that big. Half a mile long is I'm staying corrected. All right, let's go in. Dug by hand, took 38 years. Going in. Ooh, somebody's back there. There we go. Did you guys make it? Yeah, we no. walked fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's pretty neat looking. All the, the rock and the quartz crystals and stuff in the ceiling. Pretty crazy, we're maybe 100 yards, 200 yards in. It's pretty gorgeous up here. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is it? Yeah, you're even close it's to that. Beautiful. It's so cool. Awesome, I'm excited. Yeah. Hey. 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 You guys love that. Hey. Hey.
that was pretty cool. That was uh, the Borough Schmidt Tunnel, and that was a lot of fun to get out here. Um, I, we probably didn't go the right way. I'm gonna do a GPS coordinates to figure out the best way back, um, and I'll put all those links down in the description below. So this has been a pretty fun adventure out here hanging out with Jeremy and the Slow County Crawlers. If you're in the San Luis Obispo area, go make sure to follow them on their Instagram page or on their Facebook page. Join the club if you're out there. We go on a lot of fun adventures. I guess I'm saying we because I'm actually a part of the club. But uh, yeah, they go all over California. They check out some cool spots like these, you know, which is on the whole opposite side of the state for me. So it's a long ways away. So I'm going to get down here and check out more of these trails one of these days. But if you happen to be out here, check it out. If you're in the San Luis Obispo area, check them out. Hit that subscribe button, or possibly on that side. And don't forget, keep crawling.